Hello friends, welcome to channel Teach Me Technically. What we are going to learn in this playlist is we are going to study computer architecture and the processor what we are going to study is MIPS. For all those who have not yet subscribed to our channel Teach Me Technically, subscribe it now. So basically in R type instruction what we have to do is there is an opcode, there is an RS source register, RT source register, RD register which is a destination register and then there is a shift amount. For example we want to perform some shifting so we will enter some values here and then after shift amount we have to enter the values of function if our operand actually needs that value of function. So in R type instruction we have 6 bits reserved for opcode. 5 bits reserved for our first source register, then 5 bits reserved for our second source register, then another 5 bits for our register which is destination register, and then 5 bits are allocated for shift amount, and there are 6 bits for the function field. So now what we are discussing is that what actually these bits represent. So basically coming to the opcode, we have predefined some bits which actually represent the operation. For example, I have told the architecture that whenever all the bits of the opcode is zero, then you have to perform add operation. So to tell our architecture what operation we want to perform and on what registers we want to perform, we use these bits. Now coming to the five bits of these registers, that from where these five bits actually came from. So I will refer to the table which I have shown you in last video in our architecture we have fixed some register numbers which actually represent some registers for example for the register t0 we have given it a register number 8 and for our register t1 we have given it a number register number 9 so what we will do is whenever we want to refer to that register for example t0 we will go and check what is the register number of that register for example, in case of T0, it is 8. So what I will do is, I will just convert 8 into the binary and then place that value in the field. For example, in my case, uh, T0 is my RD register. So I go to the table and check out that the register number of T0 is actually 8. So what I will do is, I will just convert 8 into a binary and then place that binary, 5 bits binary in the place of RD. And similar is the case for RS and RT registers. So now I'm going to tell that which instructions actually fall in R type instructions. So basically all arithmetic and logical operations actually fall in R type instructions. All the operations like add, subtract, add immediate, and or nor, add immediate or immediate, shift left logical or shift right logical. All these instructions fall into R type instruction. So basically now I'm going to tell that how to identify which register is actually our destination register and which registers are our source registers uh, by seeing the command. So basically in R type instruction when we have written for example we have written add s1 comma s2 comma s3. So the very first register which is written uh, here is s1 the very first register is always the destination register in R type and the next register is RS and the third register is RT. So while writing command we have written it the very first register is the destination register, the second register is source register RS and the third register is the source register RT. We should not confuse it by the structure of R type instruction because in R type we have to write register number of RS and then RT and then RD. However, in writing the code, the first register is RD. So what we do is we actually check that what is the number of register T0 and it is 8 and we actually know that this is destination register because it is written the very first register in the command. So what we will do is we will convert it into the binary and then place in the at the place where RD is written. And then what we actually do is we go to the second register and check uh, what is the register number of the second register. And we here know that this second register is RS register. 
so we will just convert that register number into binary and save it at the place of rs register and similar in the case of the third register of the command uh, we just check it out that what is the register number of the third register and it was like 18 and we actually know that the third register is the rt register so we will convert 18 into the binary and save it at the location of rt so friends if you understand the lecture do comment in the comment box and let me know because it motivates me to make more videos so i hope you understand the lecture give this video a thumbs up if you have any question do comment and subscribe to our channel teach me technically thanks for watching friends